We are watching right now Hollowstone. Look at that 10 consecutive red candles in the weekly chart. We're talking about like in just the last seven days, minus 21%. In the last month, minus 56%. And in this year, you know, minus 92%. What's happening, Enrique? Wow, completely crazy. First of all, rm 3 disclaimer right here and also in the description below. Minus 5% just today also added to that information. How do you see this guy? Did you expect this downtrend? Wow, after that huge spike that occurred during February 2024, reaching that $97 area, we weren't watching this stock when this happened, but wow, that could be uh, something crazy that happened. If you know why this happened, let us know in the comments below. But from there, the movement was completely devastating, more than 99% to current levels. Right now, going to the four hour time frame to see with more details, this latest price action, you know, in the in kind of intraday chart, we could say, or swing term trading chart, we can see this parallel channel uh, being very clear the area of resistance in the upper part you can see right there when the price approaches that level the bears start to sell or at least people start to take profits or whatever they start to close positions because the price gets rejected there very very clearly and in the lower part we can see a similar phenomenon but with less strength because the price has been decreasing in uh, these consecutive levels in the previous video we had also this level right here this kind of support area with the white line it got broken out trying to reach the higher level again but got getting rejected again and re re reaching this 30 cents area and even breaking it to the lower part wow what a crazy downturn right there guys what do you think about it we have a lot of comments from the previous video that we're going to read right now but wow this situation is very dramatic yeah very dramatic we were talking about like in june just in june we had like a, cap, a market cap of 100 million right now it's like four times less it's continuing to go down and the key question is to understand why it happened so like first assumption you know because this is an opinion of course is like when you have a, an, an uptown like this that we experienced this year like completely crazy after a stock split normally that's completely manipulation you know it's like it's very difficult to predict you you probably you wouldn't even you know uh, watching this stock because it's not as well known as, as others you know but here it's like okay hologram stock this is cool but the net income is the most important factor when analyzing a stock so if you have a negative net income even though the stock is up like six thousand percent in two weeks and it doesn't make any sense at all probably it will go down you know afterwards and this is what happened actually and not only it went down to the previous part you know before the uptrend but it's like minus let's see actually from that level minus yeah uh, 60 80 percent just from before the uptrend so completely nuts and if we take the level from from the last uptrend when it was trading at 100 dollars we're talking about yeah minus 99.7 percent so insane Exactly. That's a very good analysis right there. How do you see it, guys? Do you think the situation was that or were you looking at it when it happened and you have different information? Let us know in the comments below. And let's go to the technicals. Or, no, sorry, to the financials of Polo Stock. Because here we have some interesting information that we can share with you. Uh, we have the market cap. You can see right there, $24 million around that number. This company was founded in 2020, 46 employees. This is according to information that we have right here. You can see the CEO, the basic EPS minus $3.31. Then we have the website. We're not going to visit it right now, but we visited it and we didn't see like a lot of information right there. Uh, we don't have uh, very clear information about what products do they offer or services. If you know about it, please let us know in the comments below because we want to know more about this company because uh, looking at all the information, we don't understand why people started to buy this stock at that particular moment if this was uh, due to some news that we didn't know about or due to some price action please share that with us in the comments below then we have right here uh, as you may know microcloud hologram inc engages in research development and application of info uh, sorry holographic technology and they operate uh, you know they had the headquarters in new york but here you have uh, going a little bit lower in this part you have the revenue breakdown this is interesting we have by country in 2023 100 percent of this revenue 28 million dollars around that number in china and then we have by source or business holographic technology 66 percent 19 millions and then holographic solutions 10 million dollars so with this information, we don't know uh, how, what is this company doing exactly. So if you know it, please let us know in the comments below. Because see, this is information that is interesting, but I think that this is like out of context. This is just like the base. Yeah, for me, it's worrisome, you know, to, to try to find exactly the products and services they sell. You, you try to find images, videos on the internet. 
And you're going to find anything. I mean, it's difficult to find something about this company. And this is something worrisome for me. And then we have a lot of pressure as well. We look at the, the source, the sub volume that we have right here. It's still a lot of pressure. More than 5 million shares like being being sold in that's the, the last trading day. So completely insane. Um, another thing that obviously you need to pay attention to because you need to see like the, you want to see like the stock rebounding. You shouldn't have like so many shares being sold at that particular moment. It's interesting to have all the information. Of course, this is uh, what we have right here and we will share with you. But please, if you have different information, share it with us because we want to learn about everything that you can share. And right here, uh, going back to the chart, we can see uh, this latest movement. Let's go back to the one hour time frame because we can see right there uh, kind of the volatility or the liquidity that has been going on during these latest movements. And you can see like the latest uh, bounce could be around 0 0.28 cents. We will see if that level holds or if it continues going lower to that parallel channel to the lower part. And being this commented, please share with us your opinions in the comments. And we are going to talk, to talk, uh, talk about the previous <laughs> comments from the previous video. We have it right here. Yeah, exactly. We're going to actually read some of the comments that we have right now, Enrique. So let's see exactly their opinions. Um, like we have the first one, Matthew Ray, he says like, I hope it goes back to $50. That would mean like, let's actually see the percentage. I mean, I mean we're talking about something like a huge move. Uh, so I'm gonna take these lines here, 0.28. Yeah, $50, it would mean like stock going up to 70,000%. I mean, that's very optimistic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Completely. Yeah, well, that would be something insane. We don't know. Never, you can never say uh, it isn't going to happen. But we had FFIE that was like kind of the best trade of the year. After that, the spike it went lower, so it was the best trade if you bought at the lower part and sold at the highest. But it was something like uh, around ten thousand percent. Right now, I don't remember the exact number, but wow, seventy thousand would be seven times that number. So. Wow, Matthew, what, why do you think that? Thanks for that comment. I know that you commented in previous videos also, so we really appreciate uh, your opinion, but please uh, share with us why do you think that? Let's go with Eddie Cortez. We have explode to the upside, brother. Yeah, in the previous video, we had a comment uh, from Eddie Cortez also, and uh, he said, like, it is going to explode, but we asked which direction do you mean? Obviously, it goes to the upside, so he said it right here, very clear. So let's see how it continues. For now, uh, it is going to the lower part, as we commented with the, this price action that we can see right there, but let's see if it changes. And I'm very curious to know your opinions you know because we can say right here our own opinion what can we see right here from the technical side the financials etc but you have different information and different opinions that of course you have uh, looking at these comments please share with us why do you think that thank you very much and then we have Matthew Ray again he enjoyed these videos thank you very much we appreciate your feedback and, and actually like the next one let's read about Suleiman Karkshag well, difficult to pronounce that name when is it gonna pump and how much it will be okay the question is like whether it will pump you know because maybe it, it won't and like based on the past uh, look, look at the chart you know it's like very very dramatic so obviously what happened back in February 2024 is like completely unprecedented. I mean, it's difficult to play something like that. It happens in, in stocks like this, you know, with a minimum market cap between 1 million, 20 million, maybe 40 million, but it's like they, they think they tend to pump and dump these stocks, you know, and it's very difficult to predict when it's gonna happen. So I can we cannot predict that obviously, but the things like it is like when you experience something like this, like a huge upside of more than six thousand percent, and then you analyze the stock and it's not actually in positive net income, but actually in losses for the last years, and there's no real hype. I mean, we don't have like in, in the, smart investors like uh, companies such as Nvidia or other businesses investing in a stock like this. Okay, you need to think about when to exit your position because. Look at what happened with this one. It went down minus 99.7%. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, I think the question is like, uh, of course, when is it going to pump, you asked. But I, we have also that question for you. Why do you think is it going to pump? Because sometimes we tend to see some comments that only see the, the bullish side or the the upper part side. It is going up, it is going to explode to the upside, etc. It's it's all right, but we want to know why do you think that, okay? Because if not, we can't say like, uh, okay, we agree with you or we have different perspectives because um, we don't know if it's going to pump or not. That's, that's the question right here. We never know, of course, but sometimes uh, you have to ask, is it going to pump or not? In our opinion, that's a more important question.
Yeah, and then we have another problem because right now it's below one dollar, and if you want to comply with the Nasdaq regulations, they need to be above one dollar. So they need to do another stock split. If you buy right now, and then they do a stock split, and it's going down <laughs> below the stock split, uh, you know, purchase, that means that you're gonna lose actually more than one hundred percent of the money of the initial money, for co of course. So there are some issues with that thing that it can that it can be very dangerous. We analyze that in Mullen, we analyze that in other stores such as Alta Line. Every time they do a stock split to in order to survive and to comply with Nasdaq regulations, investors pay the pay the bill, and that's very dangerous if you wanna, you know, experience like a huge upside potential. Exactly, you have to take into account all the possible information. So if you have different information please share it with us in the comments as you did in previous videos we have another comment right here hollow soon and it had like lemon emojis we can't uh, uh they, they didn't paste right here but it was something like this i don't know if you can see right there so it was like it is going to squeeze so the same comment please share with us why do you think that because we can clearly see like the price uh sorry your opinions uh in most of the comments are bullish and are to the upper part of this chart in this uh, kind of prediction forecast but we have we want to know why do you think that also yeah also we have some people speaking in spanish hola amigos <laughs> Uh, that was it. I said that, you know, it's like I, I'm talking to that person, Joh Johanna, that is actually asking for translations. OK, so and then we have advanced carbon leaning. Did they not just add a lot of new shares to the mix and the chance of a squeeze now is gone? Yeah, that that's the problem that we have. You yeah. Know? yeah, that's yeah. I wanted to comment that I read the comment and I didn't forget. Um, we don't have that information about the search being added or that kind of thing but if you have the information of the source for that please share with us because that would be of course something to take into account you know the, the higher the numbers of shares, the the deep, the more difficult it could be like to short squeeze the the stock apparently for from what we know exactly and then we have uh, uh johanna again asking like it i'm gonna translate that actually it's like uh, I have um, several shares. Um, is, it, is, is it worth it? I mean, uh, and that's another question that you have. You need to ask yourself. You know, like uh, in a stock like in minus 98 percent in year today, you need to ask if it's a good investment or not. You know, in terms of risk, if it goes bad, you know, it's it's a, it's a very bad performance. I, I, I if I'm honest, I, I wouldn't invest in stocks like this because the risk is way too high. But obviously, if you know this industry and you know when to do it, like before these pumps, that's a different story. For me, it's impossible to know. I mean, it's very difficult to predict when it's going to happen. But if you trade the stocks like this, it's because you're trying to catch this huge move, this 6,000% this move or more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's good or bad or this is worth it or not. It all will depend in the moments that you buy and sell and in your trading strategies. So that's, that's the thing for that. Let's see the next one. Okay, uh, Royal Ad, we had total cash per share, $21.21. Why still 0.35? Yeah, okay, that, that's another story. When we have like stocks like this being pressured so much, uh, like minus 19 something percent, uh, normally stocks with negative net income, they are like completely devastated. And, and you see moves like this. I mean, you only need to see the chart actually. You go to the weekly chart and you see this chart. And many investors, even if the stock is in is in net in positive net income, they wouldn't bet on it. You know, they they wouldn't even invest in a stock like this. I I, I see stocks, you know, and that I was waiting for a pump for a while, and and then I see two consecutive um, quarters in in positive net income, and I'm still experiencing a downturn like this. And it's like why? Because when you see a downturn, a downturn like this, it's very difficult, you know, to have the confidence to invest in a stock like this. Like you you think. And that the stock is over manipulated and you don't want to invest in something like this. And that's the problem we have with this one. Yeah, also, and also we are not experts in the fundamentals and in, neither in this stock, of course. So the, maybe the cash uh, per share uh, could be an indicator that is useful, but we don't know how to analyze that uh, very clearly. So maybe being $21 and the price being different is something normal we don't know about it if you know how to kind of interpret this uh, this indicator or this uh, financial data please share it with us because i think like in nvidia the cash per share i was checking it right now is something like one one point something dollars and, and the price sorry of nvidia is completely different so 
maybe it is like a different indicator that doesn't work like that but please share with us uh, why do you think it should be like correlated with the price Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Remember to leave your comments below. We are going to read them in the next video of Holo Hologram. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Thank you very much. Really appreciate all the information that you shared with us, all the comments, all the positive feedback also. Thank you very much. Have a nice week. And remember to check our other videos right here. Tomorrow we will upload more. Thank you very much for being in Trade HT. Honest traders. Let's go. Bye-bye.